Agatha Woosmos was ten years old when she met her first vampire. He would not be her last, but he would be the most important for the rest of her life. She was to learn during the course of their association that Lord Akeldama was like that, and she had to learn how to forgive him for being fabulous and somehow vital in her life, despite her best efforts to the contrary. Vampire fangs were the fulcrum upon which society pivoted. Lord Akeldama's fangs were sharper and more present than most. When he'd first found her, she'd been hiding. That alone would have told her he was different, special. Normally, when Agatha was hiding, no one could find her. No one wanted to. But the strange vampire turned out to be important and perceptive in a way that other grown-ups normally were not. The way he moved was unusual too. It was as if his body knew that it could, and should, go faster than it did, all the time, but was muffling itself. As if his whole gorgeous, brazen appearance was actually a physical whisper subverted so as not to be a threat. Agatha, age ten, was very good at identifying threats. "'What are you doing here, little girl-child?' he asked, sliding behind the curtain next to her. With which action he went from being the centre of everyone's focus to being lost and invisible, just like her. Agatha was deeply impressed and she wanted to know how he did it. I'm watching, sir. Are you indeed, little button? And what have you learned? I will tell you if you will tell me how you knew I was here. The flash of his fangs was a surprise to both of them. Bargaining already? Very well. Some of us only watch the shadows. The light can take care of itself. She nodded. It was one of those adult non-answers. She was accustomed to those. But she could play them back at him if he wanted that kind of music. I have seen two possible affairs of the heart, a missing diamond ring, the one who drinks too much and the one who drinks too little. I have seen the fire of too much avarice and the pride of too little consequence. It is the same as all of Papa's other parties. And yet not, because you are here with your fancy men, all flash and bother, and trained to see everything. Do you wish to compare notes? She was proud of her barbs. Agatha thought, if he let himself... The vampire might look impressed. How old are you, Toggles? Old enough to know I should look for the unsaid things first. He tilted his head and eyed her neck, but not, she thought, with real interest. Vampires did not recruit children. It was one of their most sacred rules. She thought maybe he was wondering if she were worth raising up to adulthood, like livestock, so he might recruit her when she was grown. She wondered if she would end up a cow for him to milk, or veal pie. Do you have a patron? he asked. Agatha actually laughed at him, then quickly suppressed the sound. She wanted to stay hidden, even if she must share the shadows. I am only ten, my lord. Only that? Still an infant, then. I am terrible at guessing human ages. You all look young to me. What's your name, Baby Bean? Agatha Woosmos, sir. Of course it is. How would you like to do this forever? Do what exactly? Hide and watch. <laughs>